Oh, wait. So I would start off basically, um, obviously, you know all the members um, in the gym. So you just basically, I say, oh, we're going to start off by asking you a few simple questions to get your calorie and macro um, set. So you just say, yep. hey, uh, what's your age? So what's your current age? 44. 44. Um, what's your weight? 90, 95 and a half. 95. So um uh, what what um so the girls were signed up are quite so I think two of them quite heavy so what you would do then so you can see this this um sign blinking here so that basically means that if obviously if that person is overweight obviously you look quite you sort of stocky guys so you're fine but if there was a, like a, a fatter person and they had a lot of fat on them you put you generally put in a desired weight okay so okay. like i you i think who was the last one veronica for example i said her desired weight was probably about 75. Yep. Okay. Okay. Just because the formula, so the way the, the macro specs is calculated is it times is the weight, the weight in kilos by two. So obviously if you've got a heavy person, like in an example, like um, Veronica, she weighs 90 K. Then if I kept 90 K in there, then that's going to give me 180 grams of protein, which is too much. Okay. Okay. Yep. So that's why we, that's why we do it. So yours was 92. Was it 92? Uh, 95, I am. 95, 95. Okay. Uh, what's your height? 186. 186. Male. So there's different options here. Vegetarian, vegan, paleo, uh, ketogenic, active. Um, I think one of them was a vegan. I think uh, one, yeah, one of the times was a vegan. So all this does is basically, if you imagine the database has all the foods in it, this just blocks out what's not vegan, what's not paleo, what's it? Uh, does that make sense? Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And yep. someone, if someone's not already eating in that style, try and maybe say, oh, look, you know, probably better you just go to a normal diet first. And then as you progress, maybe change over to the vegan or vegetarian or whatever. Yeah. Right. Um, when, when you reach the meals per day, this is all you need to do when you hit this box is basically ask them to explain to you in as much detail as possible, their daily routine, what they eat, where they go, etc. And you you would write that down manually. Okay. So yep. you tell me now your your sort of daily routine and what you're eating, what you're drinking, etc. Ah uh, for me? <clears throat> yeah. Uh so I take uh BCOs and pre-workout and creatine early in the morning. And, okay. Um then breakfast at the moment is an isogenics bar. So that with ego and training after that BCs and creating yeah, yeah, so I, I take two classes and then I do my own training. Oh, okay, so that's when you wake up. BCs when you wake up, two classes, then go training. Yeah, yep. Okay, cool. Yep. So so class five and a class at six, and then I train at seven more often than not. Oh, okay, cool. So training. Then after training. Um, head home. Uh -huh. And that's when I'll have my isogenics bar. And if it was a resistance day, I'll have I'll have a protein shake at that stage. As okay, well. so it I depends what kind of training it was. Do you live close to the gym? Yeah, yeah, I'm only like six minutes away. Ah, cool. Isogenics bar, yeah. And what is an isogenics bar? Is it a standard protein bar? Is it something? Ah, uh, it's a meal, one of the meal replacement companies. Oh, okay, so, so it's, how a, many... it's a meal replacement bar. It's 250 calories okay. in a bar. Oh, okay, 250 calories. Okay. And then after that, uh, after that, it's usually back to drop my daughter off school, go back to the gym, take another class. Um, and then lunch is, at the moment, it's just been an isogenics bar again at lunchtime. Okay, so lunch, just because maybe you're, you bit, don't have much time, can we bother the cook? Yeah, well, we, we run, so I work at TFW. I also have my own one-on-one -on -one clients, and then we run an indoor plant hire business as well. An indoor what, sorry? Indoor plant hire, like oh, green okay. plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, like we hire business. them out. So, right. so yeah, what... it does um doesn't leave too long to sort of prepare meals at that stage unless I know exactly what <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, so I was busy. Have you got maybe a meal prep service or, or is there a cafe to you like you know close by or no? You you you'd be prepping yeah. meals, would you yourself? I could I could do there's there's cafes and stuff, so depending yeah. on what kind of oh, meals yeah. there are. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, I mean, um, I, I like I'm obviously busy as well. I don't really, I don't really cut for myself. I'm eating out two, three times a day as well. So don't be, yeah. don't be afraid to, uh, you know, if it's, if it's easier for you to eat out, then uh, eat out and just try and control it as uh, best you can. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's why basically that isogenics is my speed bump. So you know, if I, there's no time, instead of going to yeah. a, you know Macca's or something, that's when I'll that's when I'll use those okay. bars. Cool. And then in the afternoon. Um, I should say my usual snacks are in there. So I usually try to have nuts or some sort of maybe hundred calorie snack or something nice in between, nice. in between okay. the main meals. Okay. Uh, and then dinner lately, I've been enjoying dinners because it's basically whatever our family's been having. Okay. So, um, but we're actually looking forward to this because my daughter and I are both going to eat from this. So whatever the dinner uh, is, okay. whatever comes <laughs> up, we're going to get to try something new or something different. So. Okay, right, cool. Nice. Yeah, there, there is, uh, depending on what sort of your level of cooking is, there is recipes in there. And you can just, yeah. you, they're, they're easy to um, match up to your macros and you, you, you go for it. Like when I do right. a plan with someone, I basically keep it as simple as possible. I'm just, I'm just basically, well, you see now how I explain it, but it is very simple. And then if you want to get creative, then you can get creative. So the dinner, you're talking about dinner, that's your last meal of the day, is it? Uh, yeah, more often than not, unless, I, unless I'm slack and I have something not good for me after dinner. Yeah, but okay. I'm usually crashed out by about 8.30 I start. My wife okay. tells me I'm, I don't, I'm not much use after 8.30. I'm usually uh, <laughs> That's surprising. Fall asleep be... in the lounge chair. Nice. No, and any, so any snacks before bed? Usually any chocolate, beer, wine? Uh, no, nah, usually any drinks are on the weekend. Okay, cool. Um, I taught myself that pretty well. <clears throat> uh, oh, as far as like I read that thing you sent through and that's pretty much what I was doing. So I was trying to stick to, I think it was about 1,800 calories a day. And then if there was any left over, I'd save it for the weekend. And that's oh, when, yeah, you know, okay, cool, cool. That's when and I what, have a few what, drinks and stuff. What is your goal at the moment? What would it be? Uh, right now to be some fat loss. So that's why oh. I've... Oh, it's cool. should, be, should be good. So keep the muscle I've got. Yeah, awesome. Don't right? need any so, more right now and cut up a little bit. Awesome. Right, so, so all I've done there is just basically write it down. If I had a bigger piece of paper, I'd write on a big piece of paper. Yep. All I'm doing then is just trying to get basically out of the person, in, in your case, when you're doing it, just to have what they're eating and how many times they're eating normally. You, do, you don't want to be like overhauling their habits. So if they're eating three no. times... You know, maybe you can add in a fourth, you know, something quick, like protein bar, yogurt, something. But yeah. don't, unless it's really bad, don't, you know, try and keep it, the habits the same. And then all you're going to do from here is we're going to plug in what you're eating currently and see what's missing. Okay. Okay. So I've, I've recorded all the other uh, consultations. You can watch them back um, at your own time and you see maybe what I'm saying and then... And then plugging it in to, and then adding in what's missing, basically. Okay. Yeah. Um. So we go to your fat loss two, and how many times are you training? A week. Ah, uh, gee, my training is interesting because it's not like five five sessions per se. Mm -hmm. So I might have a day where I have to do my arms in the morning, and then okay, and then run in the afternoon, stuff like that. I mean, oh, it's, you know, it's it's definitely at least five days a week. All right, cool. And you're well, you're obviously quite active, so you'll go probably it's good light activity because if you you've been doing a diet of about eighteen hundred calories at the moment, have you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you seeing good fat loss with that, or? Yeah, it's only been about a week. All right, cool. Um, I would say that's probably it's quite that's probably seems quite, noticeable, but I'm not sure if that's just me. Yeah, wanting probably, quite, noticeable. probably quite quite low. So if you imagine, yeah, I like explained it in that in the book. A big deficit can be, can be you know, if you're going to do like a deficit you've been doing no more than two weeks, you have to come out of it a week, maybe back into it another two weeks. Yeah. You have to put, you have to wave it like that. Right. Um, and I would say that's more maybe more of an advanced uh, strategy. Because um, obviously when you go in such a big deficit, your body's going to be, your body's going to be probably, uh, um, well, I've got the English word. Or like a fucking ugh, what's it called? Maybe a bit anxious. So you're probably good, you know, four or five days you're good, and then maybe on the sixth, seventh day, your body's gonna be like, fuck, I need some, I need some nutrients. And then maybe yeah. you'll go up, you go off plan. Okay. Okay. 
Um, so I'll put you in more of a controlled deficit. So instead of a sort of big deficit, we're going to put you into maybe you know, three, 400 calories, and then we just kind of keep you constant over a long period of time. Yep. Oh. Yep. Um, you do have the option. This, so this is how you, can, this is how you select the, um, the objectives. Okay, so you've got like fat loss one, two, and three. So these are just different deficits. So if we go a bit, a bit harder. Uh, so three higher calories. than one, or is one the highest? Uh, no, one is the lowest. One's so the lowest. So you can see here, deficit 280 is number one. Yep. Deficit two is 375. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. fat loss three. And then also you've got lean gains, muscle gain, and performance. So the performance split, you've got some athletes in there. This basically puts a lot of priority on carbs. Okay, so it'll give you like minimum protein and plus like 400 carbs. So, okay. so they people can train. Yeah. Um, if you want to play with macro splits, you can just click this box, but I've sort of made it all automatic. So the best macro split for each goal. All right, okay. happy with that. Um, so we've got basically um, BCAs, so you've got breakfast, bar one, two, snack, so three. So you've got two, three meals and two snacks, okay? So for you to know as well how it works, the protein shakes and snacks, they're quite limited. As in, there's not many options. They're only like protein yogurts, protein bars, and protein shakes in the protein shake snack area. Yep, I'm pretty okay. happy with that. Yep. Okay. And then the and then the meals is that's when you get access to all the database. So if someone's snacking on something strange, then don't select it as a snack. Select it as a meal, and you can play with it a bit more. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see now, we've got the calories and the macro set. So you've got. Your day-to-day -day burn rate is 27, so two, about 2,800 calories. We're going to be putting you in a deficit of 400, and you're going to be eating around about 2,004 a day. Okay, and if you stick to that, that's when you should be maintaining as much muscle as possible and obviously losing just fat. Okay, so that's another problem with a big deficit is that um, your body can turn to muscle for energy, and that's when you maybe get a bit of a, the ratio is a bit bad. So when you've got that say, just gonna click generate. This is gonna generate a plan automatic, but obviously we're gonna personalize it to the person and their food choices, what they've just told us. So in your case, I'm gonna leave this there because this is quite a good quick breakfast for you, which could be a bit more nutrient dense than a, a, a protein bar, okay? Yep, bar, yeah. Just because it's real, it's gonna be real foods, not processed. It's just like some oats, well, you can see it, some oats, dark chocolate, peanut butter, protein scoop. And you mix it all into it's got me making it just really simple making it into like a dough on the put it on the frying pan just to see that 10 seconds each side and it's, you can take that wherever you want and have it as a big um, okay yeah it stays no, that's handy. yeah because there's no time to make it in the morning so no yeah so yeah you can, you can do that before you can make two of them if you wanted if you're having two bars a day yeah. or you know just have it there i'm gonna put another um another option which is just a protein yogurt okay so Maybe like a Greek yogurt or Yo Pro yogurt, which you have out there. We, yep, yep. You have Yo Pros. So, um, yeah, we got that. We got plenty of Greek yogurts as well. Yeah. So just look for one of the high protein content. You've got the macros here. And then on on top of it, uh, 30 grams of dark chocolate, about 72%, and 30 grams of walnuts or mixed nuts or whatever nuts you want. Yep. Okay. Um, after training, I'd probably go for a shake every day to be honest even if you're not doing a, like a, if you need to just do aerobic work just because of um it's going to be uh better absorbed than a protein bar in that time oh, yeah. okay so it's just what's optimal obviously you can have a protein bar it's not going to make a huge difference but i'm just going to give you what's going to be optimal for what you're going to do it so let's just put in a protein shake and then some fruit with that as well just to help the body absorb the protein okay so any piece of fruit. So this is something I always give to people. And I always tell them the reason why. So for example, the last girl, yeah, she's having protein, just a protein shake. But you need that fruit for the body to get that protein, absorb the it's protein. Got to, yeah, it's got, uh, to be, yeah okay. it's got to be mixed. Yeah. yeah. You can throw that fruit into the shake as well. That's yeah, yeah, however you want it. As long as you get it in use, however you want it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll put the protein bar in here. I've got a barbell protein bar in the system. You, you guys can actually upload your own things, which I'll show you later. Okay, okay. So, you can, so that protein bar, you can just plug it in as a 
you, know, you plug in the macros of it and the picture, and it'll be in the system for you guys. Then you just assign it to people. And that's with anything, any sort of, I don't know, any sort of Australian food that's not in there, you can plug it in yourselves. We're going to put it in. Oh, okay. cool. Da, 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 da. What is this? What is this? this is 205 calories or something similar. Again, if you're going to have that, it would still have some fruit, just to bring up the, the two options to the same sort of level of macros, okay? Um, lunch. So this is where I'd, I would want you to try and get a, a proper meal in. Even if it's yeah. bought from a cafe or it's or you've made a sandwich the night before, just because um, your body does digest real food and processed food different in a, in a sense. Okay, so yeah. the thermic eject, the thermic effect of food does does make up a bit of the calorie burn per day. So we'll put in some easy options. Um, what would you like? to sort of eat as carb sources. We've got rice, couscous, sweet potatoes, we have a sandwich. What would be something probably, easy to find? Probably going to have to be on the sandwich side of things, I'd say. Yeah, cool. So to make something from scratch, what are you going to do? Is you're going to click one of these. Oh, these are like quick ads. So you need to search it at ingredients. So if you're seeing a sandwich yeah. with the bread, search bread, there's all this different stuff there. So bread slice, click two of those. Bang. Then add protein. So it's just chicken, some sliced ham. Yep. Um, one thing I always tell the clients as well, the protein source doesn't matter what it is. Just keep the grams the same. So the sliced ham could be sliced turkey, could be sliced beef, it could be sliced chicken, whatever you want. Just keep it as 100 grams. As long as it's 100 grams. Okay. Okay, so there's no, cause there's no real difference between any of the meat sources. It's not something to split hairs about. You know, that's right. not gonna. That's not what's gonna stop people losing weight. Is uh, eating chicken opposed to um, in the different yeah. different kind of sauce name. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's like you know, it's the McDonald's or it's the it's the crazy weekends or you know, that's what's gonna stop people losing weight. So that's yep. why I don't bother controlling protein sources. Again, vegetables as well is another thing that they can eat free as in as much as they want. Okay, so that's like pet. Some people may think like potatoes and things are vegetables. So just explain to them. No, it's like broccoli, spinach peppers mushrooms things like that okay yeah i need to up those as well so what do you what do you mean by is it just your normal serving like you put in your plate like your vegetables yeah as much as you can handful. Like, yeah i mean if you're on a sandwich you get some le lettuce tomato whatever you like having a sandwich just chuck it in there yep. all right yeah. obviously there's probably um especially in australia like i live in spain so they're a bit like behind on the, on the like nutrition sort of side of stuff in the supermarkets but in Australia, yeah. for sure, they've got some nice frozen veg. I would get it yeah. frozen. Yeah. I wouldn't bother buying it fresh just because it's probably going to go off by the time you, you yep. cook it and stuff. But either again, even if it's microwave bags, something's better than nothing. I mean, don't, yeah. don't think, oh, it's, it's microwave or it's frozen. I mean, you've got to sort of try and get the, the smoothest path as well, yeah. you know, for the person. Yeah, no, I like that. All right, so I'll give you some options that maybe if you do go into maybe a cafe or something, you can order uh, maybe some like a sweet potato or some rice and some meat. All right, I'll just have it there anyway, so you can see the macros of it in case you do have time or you, you, know, you start getting time to cook and things the night before. What I would usually do probably is cook the night before to have it the next day. So I would have, you know, my evening meal will be similar to my next day meal. Oh, okay, yeah. Yep. Okay, so I tend to just cook up like I buy protein, like a uh, thing of protein, a like, you know, pack of chicken. I cook it all up, and I'll do me like three days, and I'll have it, you know, for that night. I'll have the chicken done for the next day, and I can just buy a microwave pot of rice, chuck it in the microwave, it's done. Okay. okay. Um. So we'll just give you two options there then. So that's fine. And then a snack in the afternoon. So I would then go for something like this. Maybe a quick, uh, if you haven't had the yogurt for the morning, then have the yogurt. If you had the, you know, having one or the other. So if you've had the shake, if you had the yogurt in the morning, you're gonna have the shake or the protein bar, you know, change it yeah. around. You know, whatever's, whatever's missing out there. Dark chocolate, do you like that? 72% yes. I was worried you were gonna say like 85 and above. Cause I ah, no, bro, that's that like, stuff. That's eating, that's eating dirt, bro. I, <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. So there's no difference. I think uh, that, that percentage I can enjoy. Yeah, cool, yeah. So dark chocolate, like, um, 
I come from a background where I've got, well, I still eat a lot of uh, like sweet stuff. Dark chocolate has, that does help people sort of uh, take away that, um, that anxiousness of having something sweet or something. So it's very recommend, it's an easy food to recommend as it's really yep. just fat, okay? So try and change their sort of thought process that it's chocolate and they feel, maybe feel guilty about eating it. You know, it's basically food is what the nutrients are of the food, not actually the food, okay? Yeah, that's right. Um, so you'll keep that like that. And then through the night, maybe this is when you'll have more time. So we'll give you a few different options. So maybe uh, quinoa, couscous, what would be sort of pasta, what would be something you'd, uh, you'd cook up quite easy. Fajitas is something I eat a lot of, like a Mexican fajita, I'll put it in there for you. So something like that. So like a fajita wrap, some turkey or some chicken, some salami, some cheese. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's good. really easy. So like that, um, quinoa, quinoa. You eat quinoa? No, not beyond, not beyond no. quinoa. Pasta? Pastas we would enjoy, yeah. Okay. So all we're doing here now is basically just controlling the carbs. Obviously, like I mentioned earlier, the chicken, the protein source can be changed for whatever protein source you want. Chicken, mm. uh, red meat, uh, oh, okay. turkey, fish. Yeah, again, it doesn't, yeah. doesn't matter which one, just the 130 grams. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what about, uh, what else we got in here? Potato, white potato, sweet potato. Yep. Yeah. Either or, sweet potato, I'm assuming, is better. Yeah, well, yeah, it's personal preference. It's not much different between the two, to honest, whatever, okay. whatever you uh, fancy. Okay, so you have three options there for the evening, which you can just obviously rotate and obviously rotate the protein sources, add veg in as you want. And so those three options then become maybe about 10, 15 options. There's no real reason for the client to sort of go off what you've given them. If they're trying to go, oh, yeah, I want to go with my fitness pal. They're trying to look for a cheat, basically. They're trying to like, you know, yep. something. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, so say you... the 300, 300 grams of sweet potato. Obviously, you uh -huh. see how you prepare it make a difference. Because if I'm going to put it in the oven, there's going to be some olive oil on it or something. So yeah. So again, obviously, if you're not going crazy with the olive oil. Stick it on. If you, if you are putting more than like tea, two teaspoons on, then maybe you would have to count it. Yeah. But okay. I like to think of the source of things, to be honest. The first plan, I don't say to anyone count it because if you never count it, you never have to count it. So if someone's making a difference without counting sources and oils and things, yep. then there's no need to. But then maybe, you know, maybe 12 weeks, 16 weeks in the thing, they're not losing weight. Well, let's have a look at the sources you're putting on or the oils and even cut back a bit more. Because they might be might be smashing it on. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, people from just eating the correct amount of protein and controlling, you know, you know, three four days a week are going to get great results. They don't have to be like a bodybuilder counting every macro because they're going. They're yeah. coming from a probably a, a space where they're doing you know re, something not pretty bad. They're going to pretty good, and in that yep. there's a big there's a big there's a big margin to get better. Um, so that's basically the meal plan done. And you have to, once you've done all that, plug it all in, you just go refer to the, the first box, which is your total of everything. So this does, this calculates everything um, in the moment. So as you can see, we've got what's required in this column, what's been selected, and we've actually still got a difference of nearly 700 calories between the two, what you'd need. Okay, so this is probably still a bit much, to give someone to say, oh look, you within 700 cards, you can add in whatever you want. But as you being maybe the, the coach, I'll say, oh look, uh, you know, you've got basically 700 calories to add on top of the plan. Okay. But if you want to save those calories for maybe two days or yeah. part of the calories for two, three days to do so you can enjoy the weekends a bit more, that's how you uh, control the weekends. So do that, yeah, absolutely. Okay? All right. But try not to try obviously. Uh, you're going to be wary of people binging. So, you, you know, say two-day limit. You know, you don't want to be yeah. like someone saving, you know, 500 calories a day, Monday to Friday, and they're going, they're going to party time on the, on the weekend. Then, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's right. And obviously, in that macro book, there's a lot of examples of calories, but if, if, they, um, if they're not in there, then just, you know, Google's works fine. Say, Google, whatever you want to eat, 
taking away from your calories. But try and get them to eat it because it will um, do it over the course of the, the process. They'll start learning about the macros, how to control things, etc. Okay. Um, one other little good thing here is the estimated minimum water intake. So that's a big failure people as well. So there you've got a calculation done depending on the prep, the profile of the, of the client as well. So you can see you need about three and a half liters a day. If they're not, you know, they haven't got a clue to say, look, buy some bottled water. That's your guide. That's what you need to drink a day. So it's like, if it's one, if this is what, two liters, you need to drink, you know, uh, you need two of these right. a day. Okay. Everyone you talk to from TFW, you should know, because we have a whole month talking about nothing but, but water. Oh, okay. so, so they, should, they should know. Good, 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 good. Awesome. So I'm going to save this. So from here, you can you have the option to generate PDF. Someone's not really technology, like um, they just want it as a, as a printout. So you just click that. Yeah. Um, if not, then you save it to the system. Well, save it to the system anyways, because you... If you, if you do need, need to make adjust, adjustments, you just load up again and then you can play with everything within it really quick. Okay. But generally speaking, like obviously you've seen how many transformations I've, I've got. Literally, I hardly touch a person's diet until they get abs. So they're in this now for, for uh, 12, 16 weeks. And I mean, you know, 20 weeks, oof, they're like, they're getting ripped. You maybe want to go a bit more energy training, and then I'll probably start carb cycling, and then I'll give them a high day and keep. This is their base, and then I would just add in a few more calories, doing a bit more energy. Yep. That's it. Okay. Uh, right from here, go back to dashboard. So I would do this in the moment with the person as well to save you um, a bit of admin. So then you would add the client in. So we'll do you now. Then add. What's, name, Trent? What's your last name, Trent? That is Susie. Oof. B A. You got it? B A double T. B A double T. I S T. Yeah. U double Z I. U double Z. Double Z I. Z. So, was that, is that, is that Italian? What is that? That's Italian. Yeah, nice. I'm still nice. celebrating the soccer, man. Don't worry about uh, it. <laughs> good, mate. Good. Uh, and what's your email? I'll get it from here. Don't worry. Uh, so, I've got it here. Let me get this. So, is this it, right? Yeah. That's me. Yep. Yeah, yeah. that's my own one on one. All right, cool. It's running email, so I'll use that. Uh, right. All right. So, I can actually set you up when you do start. Um, if you, um, do you have another email? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've got a second one. It's um, J B A T. J B A T. 44. 44. At Yahoo. Uh, Yahoo.com.au. Com.au. Okay, cool. And what's your mobile? Uh, 0402. It's a plus six one, right? 04. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. Oh, four. I think you leave the O off as well. Oh, okay. yeah. So is it 41? 04. 04. Sorry, leave the O out. I just can't say it without oh, saying the O. Please. I think you put the six one in the O disappears. Yeah. Yep. So four o two. Yeah. Four o two. Six triple one. Yeah. Uh, three seven. Three seven. Cool. So you guys, I know you guys don't really use WhatsApp or anything yet. It may it may it may come there. We it may they come there eventually, and you can talk to people directly from the platform. It does have iMessage capability as well. If you'll use iMessage, but if not, it'll just be email and you'll have to, um, well, how, have you, how do you message people out there? Text. Um, text message. Yeah, text message. Just, okay. just through the phone or, oh. uh, or Facebook Messenger, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. yeah, Facebook in Spain is uh, dead. Like no one uses it at all. It's quite, oh, okay. it's quite weird how the cultures are so different. That's yeah. still on fire. Yeah, that's right. Nah, it's really, yeah. So you've got your profile set up here now. So you just click view. Then you're going to start a challenge, okay? So you just go to no active challenge, press start. Click the 12 month one, depending if you're going to do a weekly check in or bi weekly, click whatever one you want. So we'll go weekly. Start date, it selects it automatically. So 15th starting rate was 92. 95. 95. Check in day of the week. So what day do you want the person uh, to check in by? So I just always put Saturday. 
and then hopefully by Saturday they would have uploaded their progress and then um, you won't get notified. If they don't upload the pro progress, you get notified basically in the system that they're missing okay. their photos and check-ins. Okay, so now it looks like this. So this is the this is how it looks. I'll show you the client, how it looks in the client side, just in the coach side. And then obviously the client does their check-ins and then you have the ability to see what they're doing, see their pictures, their weight, et cetera. Okay. Oh. Um, so this is the client, client, how it looks in the client side. Um, they basically just select a box of the day of the week. You know, so for example, day we say Thursday, they just they just upload if they died to train the both. Way, and then that would give them over the course of the whole the whole weeks and stuff they'll get, they'll get like a success rating of um however they're doing or both dieting training etc and then so the diet just means they followed the the diet yes yeah, so they didn't go training they did the diet okay and then on the weight box that's where you would they would put in their weight and then they can actually write you a message saying how they're going and they can upload pictures there for the the whole um, the whole process. If you do have like a biometric scanner, there are boxes to put yep. in the fat percentage, weight, cool. weight kg, and things as well to see the progress. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we do, which is awesome. Ah, awesome. And then you obviously got the starting picture. So uh, I know people, some people, especially girls, especially the heavy people, don't want to maybe take a picture, but try and encourage them as much as possible. One, so that obviously at the end of it, you get a transformation mm -hmm. for yourselves, but as well, for them they'll be so happy when they they look back in two three months and they can see the changes like in in the two in the two things because week on week people don't really tend to notice that much okay and then in the photo section you've obviously got then you know as you imagine go through the process you've got a whole sort of ability to see everything and select different photos week on week side to side okay um and that's basically how you do the clients and from here uh are you guys using like a platform called acr or are you not on it i don't i don't know of it. okay so from here when you set up both i'll basically in notifications it should i'll be putting in a link you just click the link and from there will open you up another sort of like electronic form and you just put the client's details in that again is what that form is linked to is an email flow of mine Oh, okay. okay, so that will just give the, it's like an edgy. Well, obviously, just you'll receive it as well now, so you can see what it was talking about. It's just basically a client education email flow and reminders to do the check ins. Um, there's some recipe books in there, uh, supplement guide, why, why so much protein, some common questions I used to get asked all the time. So, I've created this email flow for the 12 weeks to basically, to basically um, to encourage the person and to motivate them for the process. Okay. Okay, it's all automatic and it's good because yep. once you've done this, it's basically done. And you know, the client will come to you every two weeks saying, oh, I need, a, I need a way in, or I like, you know, whatever. It's, it's quite good. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, that's basically it, man. Now, I would, when you get the login for this, I would check out what's in the, the database. So just click on meals and ingredients. Okay. Yeah. And then you can just familiarize yourself with what's in there if you think there's anything missing. And obviously then when you talk to a client, you're doing a meal plan, you know yourself what you can maybe offer them as in yep. meal options, et cetera. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you mean that's, uh, that's all done, Trent. Well, you're done. That's so, it. um, I send you so I report. just get sent through a, a login do I now? And... Yes. You should have had the login already. And I'm going to share the, the meal plan with you now. And the meal plan comes here. So coaches meal plans, you'll have a little notification, click on it. Okay. And it'll be in a section, click view, and it works the same way as you saw me doing it. So people can actually mm -hmm. press the refresh button. Let's see if I can give you an example. But their macros will be set. Okay. As in, they won't be able to change the macros, but they'll be able to change the main options themselves. Oh, okay. And the algorithm will actually, will actually search the best meal option for their macros in that meal. Oh, wow. So it's like, yes, yeah, so it's like a fails. Is, you know, they can't go wrong, basically. Okay. All right. All right, mate. I say any questions or is it all good? I don't think so. I probably will once I uh, get in yeah. there and have a look. But... Um, feel, I'll, I'll give you a chance. I'll try and message you from the platform now. So you've got my number. But feel free to message me, email me anytime. If you need another call, um, just reach out. We'll, we'll get it sorted. I do have a Facebook group with tutorial videos and some information, you know, talking to other coaches. 
So try okay. and join that as well, so you can see what it's all about. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, well. just let me know how it all goes with the plan, and hopefully we get you uh, shredded, mate, in 12 weeks. I will. So I've already got the login do I for this in my email. Yeah, it should have arrived already, yeah. Okay, no dramas. Yeah, okay. All right, beautiful. All right, cheers, mate. That's your time. All right, you too. Thanks, mate. Cheers, Trent. Catch you later. Bye-bye. Stop. See? No.